Hey, hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to show you how to add a displacement effect using the effects found in the Teco One Style Kit in Premiere Pro. Now if you are not familiar with the Rampant Style Kits, head on over to RampantStyleKits.com and check out all the amazing packs that Rampant has put together for your video needs. Everything from emojis all the way to business kits, Rampant has your video style needs covered and it's super easy to use them and I'm going to show you how. And like I mentioned at the beginning, this is all about how to add a displacement effect using the effects in Teco One in Premiere Pro, so let's jump over to Premiere and get started. Now before I begin, I want to point out that this Teco One tutorial is part of a training series for the Teco One Style Kit. This tutorial is going to quickly show you how to add a simple displacement effect, but check out the other Teco One tutorials for other cool techniques. Alright, let's get started. And the very first thing we, we're going to do here is we're going to import our rampant effects into our project. And how do we do that? Well, it's simple. We either come up here and go File, Import this way, and you go wherever you've saved your effects. Or if you're like me, I like to just pull up my files like this, highlight them all, drag them, and drop them into my project. Either way, import your files in to get started and you're ready to go. All right, now that we have everything imported, let's talk about our project. We're working on an HD project. This is 1920 by 1080. Okay, we have two clips in our timeline, and we're going to use our effects to add some displacement to our, our video here. So you might be asking yourself, what is displacement? Well, all that is is means you're taking your video and you're forcing it to move around. So with a glitch effect, which we're going to show here, this would be like this building would be like over here and then back over here and then over here, over here, over here. You can do all of that inside of Premiere, and I'm going to show you how. And in the Teco One Pack, you have a bunch of cool different elements. You've got background elements, you've got animated elements, mats, glitch effects, and transitions. Now I want to show you, I'm going to pull up this transition folder here, and I want to show you what's inside. Now typically a transition, I'm going to go ahead and show you this, would be transitioning from clip A to clip B. So maybe when there's a flash, like right here, you would have clip A over here, and then you would transition to clip B over here. Well, in this, you can use this transition like that, but you can also use this transition as a glitch effect, which is what I'm going to show you with the displacement. Because it's full frame right here, which I really like, that's why we're going to use this transition. So I'm going to close this, and there are a whole bunch of different ones here. Let's go ahead and make these a little bigger so you can see. These do all kinds of things, and you can do the same technique with all of these that I'm going to show you. So there's all kinds of different ones, and I'm actually going to show you with this transition right here, these boxes, so number six. So to add this to our timeline, all we do is we select it, we grab it, and we drag it and drop it down. Okay, so now we have this um, uh, transition element happening across our video. Okay, see that? So we have all these white boxes going. Perfect. Now the very first thing I want to point out is this is a 4K file. All of the effects in the Rampant Style Kits are 4K. We are working in an HD timeline, so we have a lot of room to play. Um, you can go up here to your effect controls. You can manually scale this down wherever you want. Maybe you only want displacement in this corner up here. Well, you could move this around, and you could have displacement right here. If you wanted to um, may scale this down to wherever you want and you could, or you can also right click your, your effect and say scale to frame size, and then it's automatically scaled down to fit your actual video, which is HD in our case. All right, any way you want to do it, just size it to where you want it to be. You can leave it in the 4K, you can move it around, whatever you would like to do, that's not part of this. So make the effect what you want, and then you're ready to start. Okay, so now we have this these white squares. Right? And we want to put this video, we want to put it inside here, and we want to make it look like it's displacing, like it's moving around. Well, how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to move our transition layer up a few few layers here. And I'm going to make a copy of this layer. And I'm going to hold down Option, and I'm going to drag up to make a copy. All right. And then with this copy, what we're going to do is we're going to scale it up. So just like that. And you can reposition it if you want. Maybe you want it to be over here. You'll see what, how it happens next. Now, we're going to add a track mat to this. Before we add a track mat, we have to separate our layer, this video layer, because we just added effects to it. So we just changed the scale and the position. So we're going to right click and nest this. All right, now we're going to be able to add our track mat to our nested layer. If we added a track mat to the previous layer, the track mat back here would affect the actual mat that we're seeing. We don't want that. So now we go over to our effects panel. We type in the word track. We drag our track mat key to our nested sequence. Make sure you put it on your sequence, not on your mat or your effect. Make sure you always put it on your video. And then come up to your effect controls, tell your track mat where the mat is living, and it's living on layer four. And you will see, if I play this through now, play that through, you will see the displacement. See that? See how it's popping around? And we just did that all inside Premiere. What well, didn't need a plug-in, didn't need After Effects. It's all done inside of Premiere, and that looks awesome. 
I love how that looks. Now, from here you can get a little fancy. If you maybe you wanted to make this bottom layer have a different effect, well, we can add a color effect to that. So we, let's get rid of our track effect and let's go to our Lumetri presets. And let's take a look at our monochrome. We can add this monochrome punch down here and watch what happens. See that? So now we've created this really cool effect. And if we rewind that and play that through, you'll see we have the displacement with the color change and that looks really, really cool. So really neat. You can see the displacement popping on that building, especially in the middle. It's going boom, boom, it looks very glitchy. And then it comes back to full frame of the color, which is really nice. So we start black and white right here, without there, without the displacement, the glitches come on, and then it goes to the color screen right here. This is great for titles. You can put a title down here. Um, you can also reverse this if you wanted. You could make the nested sequence video clip color, uh, black and white, and this one to be colored at the bottom, and then you could just switch this around uh, with your displacement. But pretty easy, pretty cool effect. I love the way it looks. Okay, let's do one more example with displacement. We're gonna be using this keyboard down here. And the very first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go grab our glitch effect or our, our glitch transition or whatever we're going to use to make our displacement. So let's go back to our transitions and let's take a look at these. I like this pink one right here, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and grab that and drag it down. Remember, we don't wanna put it right on top of this because we're gonna make a copy of this, but here's what it will look like on top of our video. That's pretty neat. So what's gonna happen when you add a track mat to this, everywhere that there's going to be a color box here, that's gonna be where the video is gonna show through. So instead of seeing the white boxes, it's gonna actually fill it into all these little spaces, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and make a copy of our video layer. So hold down option, drag up just like that. And then with this second layer, we're going to affect the scale, maybe the position, maybe the X and Y, maybe we'll scale up a little more. Perfect, now we're going to nest this so we can separate the track mat from all of those position and scale changes that we just did. And then let's go to our effects panel and type in track, drag our track mat key to our nest sequence and then tell our uh, mat, track mat that the mat is laying on layer four. Now do you see that? So wherever, let me undo, see where these, these colors of the glitch are right here, this green. So when I put this track mat on, all right, so if we play this through, if I rewind this, do you see how the glitch is, is affecting the uh, video underneath? So right here, especially right here, you can see the finger where it's been moved over. So that's displacement, it's taking it from here and it's showing over here, which is pretty neat. And then what's really cool is we can also take this uh, matte clip, we can hold down option, I can duplicate it, and I can add it in and it's still, because it's still on layer four, the track matte is still going to matte to this. So we can play that through. That's lovely, I love it. And if we wanted to make it look a little different, we can also, because these are just MOV files, we can change the speed and we can, let's just make that like one, like 200%. So it will look completely different. So now if we roll that through, you have this displacement right there and then you have a really fast displacement. I love the way that looks. All right, so super simple, super fast. It's pretty cool to add this displacement inside of Premiere. I love it. Okay, now with this one, we can also add some more things. Why not? Let's get crazy. So let's go ahead and add some more elements. Let's go back to our project and let's go to our, maybe our background elements. And these are right here. Let's zoom in for those. And you have these really neat things that can go on top. So let's just grab one, drag it down. Let's throw it on. Now we have this coming over top. Oh, I love the way that looks. Let's add some more of those. So let's hold down option and just make a whole bunch of copies of these. And let's do another one right at the end. Oh, I love the way that looks. That looks great. And we can do this. We can make this scale to frame size so it changes the shape of it. So it doesn't look exactly the same. And then maybe we want to, let's shrink this up a little and let's use the re-timer and let's just change the timing of this a little bit so it looks completely different. And then let's roll that back. So now we just added all these elements on top and we're getting this really cool glitch look. All right, let's keep adding some more elements. Let's go back to our project. Let's open up this glitch effects folder and let's look at what we have in here. We have all these cool different glitches, which I really love. These are pretty neat. I like this one, so let's go ahead and grab it, drag it on top, stick it on our video. Now we have this neat glitch. 
Maybe I want to retime it, so let's or reposition it. Let's position it towards the bottom. All right, so that's really cool. And then I'm going to add a blend mode to this one. So let's go ahead and add screen. So it blends in pretty cool with our video. And look at that. And then let's make another copy. Why not? Again, this is just creativity. You just get create. It's like adding paint to your canvas. You just keep going. And then on this one, let's reposition this one where we can see it. That looks pretty good. Rewind that. Very cool. All right. So let's just let's just get really crazy. Let's add one more effect. Let's go to our animated mats. And again, these have all these really cool matte effects in here. So the, all these animated shapes. I love the way they look. And I love this one right here. So let's go ahead and add that on. And now we have this neat uh, effect going on right here. We can move that around. Like right there, we can change the blend mode to overlay, make it blend in a little more. Like that looks really neat. And you know what also we can do? We can add a displacement inside this mat as well. So we can take this mat and let's duplicate it. And I'm going to pull it to the end of my clip here. I'm going to put it up one more layer. And I'm going to actually do a horizontal flip on this. Let's go to my effects, type in horizontal. So I'm going to flip this to the other side. So now we have to go find it. Oops, right here. Okay. So now we have this flipped on the other side. Let's shrink it down just a little bit. Repositioning. And then, so now we have this, something that looks like this. So you have that coming in there. And then on the other side, you have this exact same clip, right? Well, let's take off that overlay. Let's put it back on normal so you can see the white uh, element. And then we're going to make another copy of our video clips. So let's just hold down option, drag it all the way up here on top. And we're going to shrink it up so it matches that clip right there. And I want to make this, let's just make this scale this video up so it's a little bigger and let's reposition it. I want that finger to be in there. All right, now let's nest it so we can add a track mat. Type in track, put that on our nested sequence and then tell that track that's laying on, on uh, video layer nine. And now you will see that now we have this displacement over here as well that's coming through the track mat. That's really cool. So let's rewind this and watch it all the way through. All right, here let's go. Look at this. That is really, really cool. And we just did that in a matter of seconds with just the elements found in Teco One. I love the way that looks. That's awesome. And that's that. Now you know how to add a displacement effect using the effects found in the Teco One Style Kit. And like I mentioned at the beginning, this tutorial is part of a training series for Teco One. So check out the links in the description for more easy to follow techniques. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, this is Stephanie Mellon with RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching.